welcome back to my channel. It's day 11 of the Vlogmas, so it means we have one more day to go. I know what I wanna to do tomorrow, but for today I had a lot of things planned, and you know when you have a lot of things on your mind that, and you wanna do everything? Well, you're not gonna do anything. You're, you are literally not gonna do any of it. And right now, I am sitting at my computer thinking, what the hell am I gonna do for today because I've got this vlog left and I just really don't know what to do. So, I mean, if you don't like it, I'm still gonna wear them because I like them, so yeah. Well, no, I actually started holding the camera, which is weird for me. I never do that. I would position it and then I'm like, okay, let's start filming now. I don't know what this video is gonna be about. Honestly, I'm gonna think about it and then I'll think about also the title because for right now, honestly, I don't know what it's gonna be. But we're gonna watch Home Alone because it's a tradition here in Romania. You watch Home Alone on our, let's say it's the main channel that everybody watches, it's like Pro TV and yeah, we're just gonna have a few friends over and we're gonna watch Home Alone because that's what people do on Christmas in Romania. And they eat a lot and I'm gonna watch the news and see to see how many dumbasses have ended up in the hospital. I love the Romanian news, I told you. That's the only thing I'm waiting for a whole year. The whole year I'm waiting for that particular news. Just to see how many people are that stupid in Romania. I wanted to wear a dress, but I'm really fat and I don't fit in a dress anymore and it's really hard to dress a fat person or for a fat person to get dressed. I know, I'm complaining a lot. I honestly do not know for the life of me where everything is, why I have this much mess in my life. Why is, why is my life so messy? Why? I have a bit of an OCD. I have a lot of little kinks that I need to solve for my own mental health. But for the life of me, I cannot, I literally cannot do certain things or find certain things because sometimes I'm a mess. I mean, I have to have certain things organized, but certain things is like, I just don't even care. It's like, it's like they're, oh, I don't know, man. I need to, See what I'm going to do with this. I can't wait for this year to be over because I really want next year to start and because I really want to lose weight. I know people are gonna say, oh, but why aren't you starting to lose weight now? Because I don't, because I want to start next year, because I want to start fresh, because that's gonna be my new year's resolution and I just don't want to do it for the holidays. And plus, I had a lot of things to do and I wasn't about to start a diet or something just because, oh, let's do it faster. No, I have certain priorities that I needed to take care of, like the channel, first of all, everything like with my house, holidays, and afterwards, I will do that. I'm not that upset with how I look. I am. I really am, I miss myself. I mean, this was me before, here. But now, I really don't like myself. And as I said, I think it's time for me to start living my life again. And honestly, I don't like the way I look when I'm fat. And I like to dress pretty and stuff like that. And when I'm fat, I can't. And please do not come over and say, you're just as beautiful as anyone else. It doesn't really matter how you look. Honey, it does. To me, it does. Yes, I am superficial. Call me shallow. Call me whatever you want. But I do not think that that is appealing. And I do not find myself appealing fat, so. Yeah, no thank you. The thing is that I have a pretty face and that helps me, but that's it. So I think that people, I, I was having a discussion today with my friend 
Um, I was having a discussion actually today with my BFF about uh, the fact that um, her boyfriend made a joke about, I was saying that I don't want to get into a relationship until I look the way I looked before, like skinny and toned and everything. And she was like, oh yeah, you don't have to think about that because you're beautiful anyway or stuff like that. And I was like, and her boyfriend was like, yeah, so until you're 65 kilos, you're not gonna do anything or go on a date. And I was like, yeah, well, kind of. <laughs> the thing is that she got upset with him that he told me that I was fat or something, you know, that, oh, until then, um, you're not gonna go out on a date, you know, like, till you get skinny. That's what she understood. And I was like, yeah, well, that's the point. Why are you upset with him? Yeah, but he should sugarcoat it. He shouldn't be saying that. And I'm like, no, 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 no. People that are sugarcoating it should stop saying that because it's not helpful to anyone. I mean, honestly, when someone comes over to me and I'm like, oh, I need to lose weight. I'm, I'm obese. Literally, I am obese. I, I am honest. I am obese. But other people are like, why don't tell them that? They might be offended. Yeah, that's the whole point. They might get offended and they might actually do something about it. You just telling them, oh, don't worry. You're okay if you're fat. There is someone that's going to love you. You need to know everything that other people might pick on so that when they do, you're always, always going to have an answer. You're fat. Yeah, I know. So, I'm five foot seven and like, um, I don't know. I don't even want to know how fat I am. It's fine. But I think that once you have surpassed, like, I don't know, maybe 20 pounds, I think that is overweight tending toward. I'm obese. I am 55 pounds overweight. I know that. I'm obese. I have this in my head. I know that is true. And I do not like when people come over to me and they tell me, oh, don't worry, you're pretty anyway. It doesn't really matter if I'm pretty or not. I'm not healthy. I'm not doing anything good to my bones, to my organs, to my skin, to nada. Absolutely nada is going well. My heart is pumping way too much because I'm fat and I need to get rid of it. And people say, oh no, don't worry, you're fine. No, you are not fine. If you are overweight, you should do something about it. You should lose weight. You should not be offended that people actually make statements that you're fat. Do you have a mirror? Can you see yourself? Do you think you're fat? Yes then why do you think other people would think differently? Do you think that your mirror is special? It just makes you look fat to yourself, but everybody else sees you super hot and super beautiful? Uh, no. Reality is that you're fat. Accept it. And that's it. I mean, I, I, I don't even know why people get offended when other people call them fat. I mean, don't you think that you getting offended is kind of fueling them to go even more and more and just offend you even more if that's what you think they're doing? Come on, people make statements all the time. Yeah, you're fat. Okay, so there was this lady on the tram. She got really upset because, okay, I am obese. I am fat. I'm, but I was at least on my own chair. My butt literally fit in my own chair space. And I was actually really stuck to the wall next to me. And she was sitting in between me and another gentleman. And she was like occupying this much of my chair and this much of his chair. And so at one point she just turns around at me and she was like, could you scooch over a bit? Bitch say what? Scooch over. Me. You want me to scooch over. Why? Because your ass is so big that it does not fit into a chair space and you're occupying basically a quarter more of a chair because like you're occupying two more pieces of 
other people's chairs. So I'm the one that has to scooch over for your f ass. Oh, no, 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 honey. So you know what I told her? Excuse me, but do we both look small? Do I look small to you? Do you look small? No. But if you look down at your chair, you would see that you are actually on my chair. And she flipped. Oh my God, she got up. She was like, oh, you are so rude. I'm rude for calling you fat? I am rude when you're the one who told me to scooch over because your fat ass does not fit in your chair and you need more space of mine because my fat ass barely fits into my chair space. You needed a little more from me. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. If you are going to get a fit. Oh, honey, I am so sorry. But if you are going to get offended by that, why? Why in the hell are you going to call me fat? Ultimately, I think that I'm the one that actually fits in her chair. How come you have the audacity to get upset that I called you fat when you called me fat first? I mean, these types of people are the people that cannot handle their shit. These are the people that cannot handle anything because they think if I say it's offensive, then it, there's gonna be a law that will prohibit people to say anything. Because right now, this is what's happening because some people are so frustrated and so, so stupid. I am sorry, but that is stupidity. Honestly, that is stupidity. You need to stand up for I hope you die. Because people are way too sensitive right now. Because anything that you say is offensive. They even, when I heard that they find millennials, or I don't know who exactly, I'm a millennial dude, but when I heard that, that actually they find that Friends, the TV series, Friends, the iconic and legendary Friends, the comedy that has made us bricks, honestly, is considered offensive and sexist. Honestly, how? How can you say that Friends is offensive and sexist? I am a woman, I'm a feminist. Just because the issues that are spoken of in that TV show were actual issues of actual people in the actual 90s when this TV series was actually running. Are you telling me that you have to make a remake of Friends that will actually be a, a very lousy story about stupid kids in 2010s? About what? About what are you gonna make it? About what? About the fact that everybody gets offended by anything? Is that what the show is gonna be about? I'm sorry, but that TV show, Friends, was made in the 90s with people from the 90s that had stories from the 90s. So if you say that you are so open-minded and you say that you wanna have peace and love and equality and not be offended anymore or have people offend you well then you have to look at that tv show and just look at it as it is it is not a situation that applies nowadays it's a situation that they were confronted with in the 90s so you do not have to look at it and be judgmental about it because those were real people with real situations in the 90s People that, people in the 90s actually had those types of problems. I'm not telling you that the actors that played those characters actually had those problems. Some of them might have, some of them might have not. But real people like you and me, back in the 90s, like my parents back in the 90s, they had those issues. And for them, it was really accurate. And that, those were the times, those were the mentalities. You have to understand that not everything that came before our amazing generation is bad. What we need to do is look at them 
learn from them and not repeat those same mistakes. Not ban them and not say, oh, you should not show that on TV. No, that's exactly what you should do. You should show it on TV because people need to learn what not to do. Because that's, at the end of the day, exactly what that show is showing you. What not to do in that situation. And I think I found the subject for this vlog. So apparently, it's me ranting about how millennials, we are kind of ruining everything. I think so. I think I'm gonna figure out the title for this episode when I am actually gonna be editing it. So I think I ranted a bit about everything that kind of bothers me. So yeah, and this is kind of what my future episodes will be about social problems, but I'll try to put them in a more comedic light because me having a nervous breakdown and having my pulse explode every five freaking seconds when I talk about something, that ain't a good idea. So I think that putting a little comedy into it is gonna be so much better for my heart because I cannot take this anymore. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon to be notified every single time I post a video. And guess what? I'll see you tomorrow for the last Vlogmas. See you tomorrow, guys. Mwah!